So let's talk about empowering women. Yes. What does it look like for you as a woman, Ruth, Mm -hmm. to be empowered and to empower others, but also from the perspective of a husband empowering the wife? Yeah. And also how you empower women on your team. Like, Wow. Big topic. Big topic. But we'd love to yeah. hear your thoughts on it. What does it look like to you guys? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's it's such an important topic because, I mean, Genesis 127 is talking about God created uh, humans in his image, right? And he said, male and female, I created them. And so between us, we get to reflect the image of God. And I think all of creation shining is what demonstrates Jesus, yeah. men and women and women. We're really passionate about leading together yeah. and leading as a, a a healthy, in love, married couple that supports, champions and prefers each other. Yeah. So um, so it's a really important topic for us. Yeah. And just, and then, you know, people all often get that, like when we travel and things like that, like, how do you empower women? And I kind of am like a cheeky thing of like, how do you empower men? Yeah. And the sense of, <laughs> and the sense of everyone is uniquely different. Yeah. So how I lead depends on the person. If yeah. you if you lead the same way to every single person, you need an upgrade in your leadership. Yeah. That's not good leadership. Like a, a good leader adjusts great. to his team just like a parent would adjust to their child. I don't yes. parent my kids the same way. If I did, it would be horrible yeah. for everyone, yeah. right? And so when it comes to women, like it, it just looks like Susie, like I'll give an analogy. Like if I have two leaders, one's let's say Susie and Johnny, and I want them to close worship, Susie might be very confident and bold and fiery and not struggle with getting up and doing things on the fly, right? So if I ask Susie, hey, get up and close worship, I don't really need to give her much else other than like, hey, take five minutes, close worship. Yeah. And that's all she needs. Well, Johnny might struggle with double-mindedness. He might just be like, I second guess everything I have. Oh my gosh, this panics. What do I do? And I might have to coach him more of like, hey, Johnny, like what's the first thing that's coming to your head? Yeah. Don't overthink it. That sounds awesome. Go with it. Take five minutes. If you need help, I'm here. I can pop up and give you support. Like, And so that leadership just looks different depending on the person. So even with people on my team or with Ruth, knowing her tendencies... And so that's why it's so important of knowing your team because you can't effectively empower someone if you don't know them. Yeah. And empowerment literally is to enable someone. It's literally to commission something or someone to have authority or responsibility in an area that gives them opportunity yeah. for something. So that's what it looks like for women for me. And I have a lot of women on my team. I've consistently had a lot of women on my team. Um, you know, I have a very powerful daughter. And so I'm passionate about this, but one of the reasons why it's been so hard is We've gone so long in the church yeah. without seeing a healthy model of leadership with women leading. Yeah. And so that's why it's become a thing of like, how do you empower women? It's like, how do you empower a man? It's, a, it's the same thing, but knowing we're all uniquely right. different and, a, and it's powerful, but not. Yeah. yeah. I, I, think, I think some things as a, as a woman that help me just being powerful is, first of all, not feeling like I have to prove myself yeah. and not feeling like I have to look a certain way. So. Right. Often in the church, we see a lot of men as, yes. as young women leaders. We're like, I feel like I can see every personality of, yeah. of man leader on the stage and maybe two of women. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, if you're 18 male leaders and two yeah. women leaders, then you need to be more intentional with empowering your two females yeah. but, and making space for them. Yeah, but what it does as young, young women leaders and go, okay, to be a woman leader, I have to look like this or like this. And a, a guy can go, well, I could look like this, 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 and still be empowered. So for me, it's going, I don't have to prove myself and I'm going to learn what it looks like for me to be fully me and show up. Like true freedom is Ruth being fully who God created Ruth yeah. to be. Yeah. So I think it's, it's, it's showing up. Um, it's, it's not, fe- some, sometimes we can get a little bit of a victim mentality of like, I, I mean, I've been in so many situations we have together where, you know, we've been to churches <laughs> and they've said to Pastors her, would just ignore her. Ignore like there was me. one in particular, she'd be like, so Steve, and I would turn and be like, I don't know, what do you think, Ruth? Like, don't, like, we're just one. And then when it came to speak. preaching, I'm like, I'm not preaching. You're preaching. <laughs> you know, like. But, it's, wow. it, but in that, like, it, so, so it's not denying that it's hard. I don't mean that. But yeah. also going, like, my destiny is not in anyone else's hands. So, yeah. Like, my destiny, my calling is in the hands of Jesus and me saying yes. And yeah. he's going to make a way for me. And my gift's going to make a way for me. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe it will take more time. And maybe there'll be some more hurdles. But it's so worth it for me. And then even as 
I want to be I want to be a pioneer for other women that go behind yeah. me. And I want to clear the way and I want to be Ruth being fully Ruth when yeah. Ruth's on stage, not Ruth being trying to be whoever. Yeah. Um, I just want to be me and and then give the women around me permission. And I think killing competition is really important. Yeah. Like uh women can often compete with each other or um just have not always been the kindest and a lot of women struggle even with um with pain from other women. And I want to be a real champion of how do we speak kindly to each other and how do we promote each other. Yeah. Um and for me it's it's pu- pushing other people forward. Like any yeah. favor that we receive is misused favor if it doesn't benefit the people around us. Oh. And so it's like okay, how do we how do we make space for, how do I make space for other women when I'm given a platform? Yeah. And and then yeah. say, I want you to be fully you. And yeah. when they're quiet, I champion it. When they're loud, I champion it. When they're, yeah. wh- whatever they are, when they're being them and they're being sensitive to Jesus, then that's beautiful. Yeah. And it's that thing, whatever you want to see happen in your organization, you have to model it. Yeah. yeah. You have to model it. Yeah. And it's, so, it looks like taking risk, I yeah, think. Yeah, it looks the- like taking risk. And so if you're wanting to empower women, if you don't put any women up front for people to see or lead in a way, then you're going you're not gonna have powerful women come up in your organization because they don't have something to look to. And That's it's, why it's, it's a risk though, because they might totally. not be as they like often in, in a church like, well, the, the guys have all hang, hang out together and they've yeah. gleaned from the leader and they've done this. And the, the the young women leaders maybe aren't invited into that. Maybe they're not as skilled, but you have to start somewhere. Yeah. And so finding spaces for them to happen and yeah. then deliberately feedback, giving feedback, coaching. I think it's a generalization, but personally, I feel like often I need more permission maybe than, or, or did need more permission than maybe some guys that I was with. And often I think women yeah. maybe need a little more permission. And so being able to go like, hey, you have permission to show up. I want you to show up. Awesome. Like, yeah. um, whereas, and again, it's huge generalizations because it's not always the way at all. Yeah. There's some women that will just be like, no, I just, I'm going to step up. But yeah. there's also some that, like Steve said, it's learning who you have. But I think permission can be a big thing of like, hey, you have permission to show up here, yeah. especially women that maybe have been hurt by you know. leadership or other what in whatever situation. Yeah, permission's a big deal, and it's and it's true in every avenue. I mean, if you look at South Africa when Nelson Mandela became president, that gave a lot of people hope and permission. Oh, I can actually, yeah. I can do this. Yeah. Right? You have a whole yeah. minority of people going, oh, now it's possible for me. Yeah. Well, the same's true. With women, sixty percent of the church is women, sixty percent. Yeah, and ninety-five percent of our leadership teams are men. Can Something's I say messed on up. That actually, that often <laughs> the, the, the man might be the one in charge, and he looks at the the people preaching and speaking, and he goes, "These guys are the most powerful. They're my favorite, and they're guys." But he doesn't actually talk to the women that go, wow. "These people are the most powerful because I can relate to them." Wow. So who I see as the most powerful preachers yeah. in this environment is probably very different to who you might see or Steve might see because yeah. I'm relating to them in a different way. Yeah. So Taff's getting up and Taff's sharing something and I'm like, I relate to you. Yeah. Like I look up to you, I've come receive from you in a way that is different because I'm just, because we're both women. And so I think wow. sometimes we don't realize how powerful our women are yeah. because we're a man. We don't quite yeah. connect as uh, well. I'm as a woman. man, you're a woman. <laughs> you're a man. <laughs> That's good. Well, women, we believe in you. Yeah, we do. And we empower you. And we say you have permission to shine, to be yep. all that God's created you to be. And men, we encourage you and believe that you yep. have it within you to champion the women around you and to raise them up and to see the skills and the gifts that the Lord has put in them as well. So go for it. Yep. <laughs>